In this episode of Back to the Basics, we're going to take a look at the infotainment system, aka the media player, in the Tesla Model 3. The premium package in the Tesla Model 3 includes premium sound, which has 15 speakers that surround you and work harmoniously to produce an amazing sound experience. Other than harsh critics, most people will be blown away with the Tesla Model 3 sound system. In order to play anything through those 15 speakers, you first need to open up the media player. To do that, you press the music note on the screen, and the first viewing level will be the mini player. Now this will show some of the essential information while allowing for more of the navigation screen to be in view. It displays what is currently playing along with some basic functions like pause and play, advance forward or backward if available. Now a simple swipe up will show more information while covering about half of the navigation screen. And from here you'll be able to see recently played media along with your favorites including radio presets. Now below that are different media sources in the media player the FM radio, different streaming services, which we'll go over a little bit later, a Bluetooth connected device, and a USB flash drive if inserted into one of the front USB ports. And finally, one more swipe up will cover the entire map while giving you full access to the media player, including the ability to browse through all of your media options, such as artist, title, and categories, just to name a few. As of right now, Tesla only offers FM radio, and there are no projections as to whether or not AM radio will be offered in the future. However, many of your local AM radio stations will most likely be offered through different streaming services, including TuneIn. In the meantime, you can browse through all of the FM radio stations in your area by tapping the Advance or Previous buttons on either side of play. You can view all of them by using the full screen setting of the media player by scrolling up and down. There's also a direct tune feature that allows you to manually input a station. Now, once you do find the station you're looking for, you will have the option to tap the star icon, which will include it on your favorite screen. If you wish to delete it, simply tune into that station and press the star button, which will turn from black to white and it will no longer be on your list. For those with a premium upgrade, Tesla has set your car up with a music streaming service called Slacker. If you have your own personal Slacker subscription, you have the option to sign into your account. Now, from my own personal experience, Slacker is not exactly my favorite music streaming service. In fact, it wasn't even on my list until I was forced to do so once I picked up my Tesla Model 3. And although there is a large selection of music and media in general, it has the feel of Pandora because it chooses which song you will hear next based on what you gave a thumbs up to and listened to in the past. Now there are no ads and you are allowed to skip forward as many times as you would like. However, you do not have the option to go back and listen to a song again. You do have the option to search and play individual songs on demand, but it will then revert back to playing songs randomly that will most likely be related to the song you just listened to. Now Tessa also sets up each car with a tune-in account where you can listen to podcasts, sports, news, and ad-free music. Like Slacker, if you have a personal account with TuneIn, you have the option to sign in with your credentials. Now, as I mentioned earlier, since AM radio is not available, you might be able to find your favorite local station on TuneIn. Now, other than listening to the news occasionally, I don't listen to TuneIn very often. But upon exploring it more, it seems to have a large library of podcasts and news programs, talk shows, sports, and not to mention music. Now, if you're like most people and you don't like the online services Tesla offers, you do have options. The first is Bluetooth, and that could be any device, such as your phone, iPad, or iPod, just to name a few. However, other than the basic functions like volume control, play and pause, advance to the next or previous track, you have to do everything else from that Bluetooth device. The screen doesn't even tell you how long the track is, but interestingly enough, it does download album art if you do have internet access. Now the process is simple to set up and once you pair the device to the car, it will be stored for future use. Now although Bluetooth is available, Tesla has not included an auxiliary input. Now if you happen to have a large collection of MP3 music, then you are in luck. You can transfer that music onto a USB flash drive plug it into one of the front USB ports of the Tesla Model 3 and control that music through the media player. 
It is important to note that Tesla will only recognize flash drives with FAT32 formatting. It is also important to note that the rear USB ports will not work for playing music. And unlike Bluetooth, you control the music by tapping the folder and title you would like to listen to. You also have the option to have the tracks play randomly, loop, and you can even tap particular songs as favorites. If you're looking for a particular song, artist, or album, you can use the search option. To search for certain content, touch the magnifying glass icon, and you will be able to type in a song, album, artist, podcast, or station. To narrow the scope of your search, you can tap any one of the filters. The default filter will include the top results from all of the available sources, such as Slacker and TuneIn. You can also search for content by using voice commands. To activate voice control, you can either tap the microphone icon or press the right scroll wheel on the steering wheel. Then say listen to or play, followed by the song title, artist, album, or any combination of the three. Now, to get the most accurate results, it is best to include as much information as you can. While we're on the topic of voice commands, you can also adjust the volume by scrolling the left scroll wheel up and down. Now, the volume can also be adjusted on the lower right-hand corner of the screen, conveniently placed for easy access to the passenger. Now, to mute the music, press the left scroll wheel on the steering wheel. To unmute, simply press again. If you are an audio aficionado or just an average music listener like me, you do have the option to personalize the sound settings. To adjust the settings, simply press the equalizer icon on the bottom right or top right hand corner, depending on which media player you're using. Several options will be available, such as turning immersive sound on and off, along with streaming options such as DJ commentary, which, if available, will give you commentary on the content you're listening to, including music history and behind-the-scenes stories. You can also toggle explicit content on and off, as well as mobile control, allowing your passengers to control volume and content from their phone. You can adjust any of the five frequency bands and balance. Now the balance not only adjusts the sound to the left and right, front and back, but you can also touch and move the circle over the area you would like to focus the sound. Now this is a particularly great feature for those who drive alone frequently and want to get the best overall sound for the driver's seat. One of the big complaints about the Tesla Media Player is the fact that Apple CarPlay, Android Audio, and in particular Spotify is not offered. However, that being said, there are many countries outside of the U.S., including Europe, that do offer Spotify. But there is no word as to whether or not Spotify will be offered in the States anytime soon. However, a recent workaround has allowed Spotify customers with a premium account to use the screen on the Tesla Model 3. You will need Tesla software version 2019.12 and higher, a premium Spotify account, and a phone with the Spotify app. Now, it works by opening the Chromium web browser in the Tesla Model 3 and inputting your Spotify credentials at testplayer.com. Now, although the music is still playing through your phone via Bluetooth, you are able to control your music selections from the website, giving you the feel of using the Tesla Media Player. Echo Auto is a new device that is slowly becoming released to the public this year. It connects to Alexa through your phone, plays through the car speakers, and has all of the features you'd come to expect of Alexa. Now you use your voice to play music, check the latest news, open your garage door, along with many other commands. Now you'll also be able to play Audible books, play Amazon Music, Spotify, Pandora, SiriusXM, and NPR, and Apple Music is expected to become available with future updates. Now although very accurate and reliable, media voice commands in the Tesla are fairly limited. The Echo Auto takes voice commands to the next level and beyond. However, this still doesn't fix the problem with the lack of services offered using the Tesla Media Player. So the Tesla Media Player has its good points and of course its bad points. And it's the lack of Spotify, at least in the US, along with the lack of Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, that are strikes against the Tesla Media Player. However, the sound quality is phenomenal. And really in the end, you're able to play really anything you want but it just may not be as easy to do so if you have to use your phone or any other Bluetooth device. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. 
And of course, better yet, you can subscribe to my channel. And by the way, you have still until May 28th to get 5,000 mi 5, miles of free supercharging as long as you use a referral code. So I'll be sure to, of course, post my referral code at the bottom of this video. So once again, thank you all so much for watching. And until my next video, stay positively charged.